Hi guys, for today's video, I'm doing a skincare plus everyday makeup look for extremely sensitive dry skin. So. It's winter season here in Korea, so I'm gonna add one more skincare to my routine. Before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to get all new notifications. So, let's get started. Of course, it's important to have a skincare that suits your skin. Uh, I have a very sensitive, oily combination skin. So, the cleanser I use in the morning is this one. A tooth so jung with cleanser so this is very safe for sensitive skin Bonus is it doesn't have a sodium chloride which for me it you know gives me milia or you know the bumps around my face so this doesn't have it so if you have problems with sodium chloride then you should try this one so I'm already done washing my face with a whip cleanser just now so the next step of my skincare is this one toner so i got this from olive young and it's very safe for sensitive skin it only has like five ingredients so we're just gonna put this in the gold bottle because it's winter so I add one more um, skincare in my routine originally it's only um, three three products in the morning but I'm adding one more I know four products including sunscreen here one on each corner each part just tap it like this sure okay so the next step of my skincare is ampoule from Apu. as always it's very safe i already checked it i've been using it for months so um i didn't have any negative reactions and just take it from me my skin is very sensitive one or two days you're gonna you're gonna know if the skincare, you know, is really bad. And this one, I've been using it for months. And I didn't have any bad reactions to it, so. Okay, let it dry a little bit. Just wait for five minutes. So our next step is sunscreen, of course. It's a Japanese brand and it's a physical sunscreen. It's very good. So we're now gonna move on to makeup the makeup i'm using is i mean foundation or it's more like a hydrating tint neutrogena hydro boost hydrating tint tinted moisturizer i really like it it's very light and it also doesn't give me you know acne it's very important it doesn't dry out my skin so the shade I'm using is in Classic Ivory. I'm gonna just put it like this. And then I'm using a e.l.f. sponge or e.l.f. beauty blender. It's damp. You can use it damp or dry, but I like it damp. And then, of course, I have this, like, you can see this part, I have some, a little bit of scaring, and this part as well. So, what I use 
I'm using another foundation but just the parts that needs coverage this one is also good L'Oreal very good for sensitive skin so I'm just gonna like dab a little bit on the areas that needs more coverage like that see just the parts that needs cover and this part as well This part, I have a little bit of scarring here. It's looking very good. And it's very light on the skin. It's not heavy. Okay, that's looking really good. The next step is I'll do my eyebrows. Usually my next step. So I'm using just smudge proof wood eyebrow from Misha. So I use whatever you know it's on sale I use this one is good this one is like three three dollars Next is Art Class Fixing Gel from Too Cool for School, this one. So I'm just gonna do it like this. And also I'm just doing the, you know, the corner, <laughs> but with definition. Just add the finishing. It also makes your eyes bigger. Just this air, just this part. That's it. See, it's good. Okay, so we're gonna do the eyeshadow. Oh, look at this. But I can still use it, so I'm gonna use the shade rose pink. This one. Just since it's broken, just dab it. Dab it. Okay. It's okay. Now I'm gonna use this. Do it. Okay. And then the next is here. Mar mulberry. <coughs> here. Just. just a little bit you don't want to go crazy and then we're gonna use a blending eye brush so I got this from elf as well just blend it you don't want to go crazy at all just this part see just this part and this one as well Very cute, perfect for morning, daytime. Yeah. Okay. So our next step is Laura Mercier blush. Laura Mercier blush color infusion in Bellini. My favorite, Bellini. 
So I'm using brush from Tuchel for school or whatever brush you know you have there. So just gonna blend it like this, but I'd like to tap it. I like to tap it because it looks more natural. Studio Map Fix Contour Palette. doesn't really matter for me um and then I'm gonna use my lip pencil this one from Misha lipstick I'm using is my favorite from Chanel it's shade 191 shade 91 oh my gosh mm, it's good this one i think this one this shade is perfect for winter mm. so this is our final look Very, very good for daytime, you know. So that's it for our video. To like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me on the comment section what you think of this look. And if you have problems with getting the right skincare, you can always ask me. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!